Mark is in the studio with us this morning. And uh, Mark, uh, there has been an ongoing, let's just say a concern about uh, media coverage of uh, high school sports events in Pennsylvania and really across the nation with this company known as NFHS. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have uh, been uh, very much involved in it here in Pennsylvania. Uh, Tonight is evidence of uh, what the problem is that exists, and I'll, I'll let you take it from there and outline what's going on so that folks have a better understanding of what this controversy is. Well, you know, we first of all, we've taken great pride in um, video streaming many of the football games back to when the pandemic started. Uh, this year, our new agreement with Indiana Area School District We'll be video streaming tonight's Little Indians game against Plum over at Kuzneski Field. And that agreement is in place. Indiana does not have a contract with the national company that you referenced, NFHS. Of course, many schools do. And um, not that NFHS is a bad service. It's not. And it gives schools the ability to stream many things, uh, sometimes beyond athletics, but mostly athletics from football stadiums and gymnasiums. Um, and it gives them the ability to stream um, junior high games and volleyball and uh, maybe some sports that don't get this or are not in the spotlight with us or other media companies, as you reference, uh, Todd, across the Commonwealth and across the country. So from the standpoint of NFHS, it's not that it's a bad service, but what it does do and what uh, it has just impacted us greatly for tonight Homer Center fans have relied on us to provide a free uh, stream. We've made a significant investment in video streaming equipment in the past couple of months because we have uh, agreements uh, in in place. In the case of tonight's game at NFHS, we learned about an hour ago, uh, and I had a very good conversation with their principal, uh, Steve Shutters. um, At West Shemokin. uh, At West Shemokin, yep. That's – we were – we had all of the links and everything ready to go for tonight's Homer Center video stream uh, at West Shemokin, and I had talked to their athletic director, Phil uh, Parks, and he had given us the Wi-Fi passwords and the Ethernet uh, connections uh, uh, as well that we need for video streaming, and we had all of that worked out, only to find out from Mr. Shutters that uh, the NFHS, due to contractual language, is going to block us from video streaming tonight. Uh, it's not really uh, West Shemokin and Steve Shutters. Uh, they have a, a contract that was signed. I would guess, like many school boards across the country, they did not realize this exclusivity uh, language exists. Uh, that's what I've found, and many other broadcasters like ourselves have found, uh, not only in Pennsylvania, as you said, I'm I'm in this really deep in the state, and also... I'll be attending a conference where this subject uh, will will come up in Michigan uh, next week. Uh, There's been legislation passed in other states, and that's what we're going to fight for in Pennsylvania. Our issue, and I think this just kind of puts it out there uh, for us, it's it's not an issue with West Shemokin. It's a much broader issue uh, with NFHS that it just does not allow local companies like us to compete. We think that's uh, inherently unfair uh, given what we've done, our partnerships with our school districts, their athletic teams, and those partnerships with the school districts go way beyond athletics. You know yourself how many times we get hit for, can you help us out? Can you buy a program ad? Can you do public service announcements for this event, that event? And we are all too happy to step up and do that for our school districts. It's part of what we're all about and what we should be all about, and we will definitely continue uh, to to support our uh, our schools, but this uh, these these contracts that NFH has has, and I think many school districts get sucked in without knowing uh, the ramifications. Um, it will impact us tonight in a in a negative way. It is unfortunate for um, viewers that have come to rely on watching the games along with hearing the play by play and commentary. That will now be stripped away. Yes, tonight's game will be on radio, and we know we have a substantial audience on radio and the Trib Live High School Sports Network, but unfortunately there will be no um, video streaming tonight from West Shemokin. You said something a couple of moments ago that I think is really important, and that is uh, the fact that people can watch our streams when we're able to stream for free, 
NFHS is it's a subscription service, so people have to pay for that. They it, they are behind a paywall. Yes, um, roughly ten ninety nine a month. You can buy an annual subscription if you wanted to. Um, of course, for many months uh, there's going to be a lot of content that uh, you're not interested in. Um, they would like to go to a free service. Um, they are on record uh, through the president of the Oklahoma Broadcasters Association. Their goal is to crush local radio, crush local media companies. Uh, it's not my words. Was, those are their words. Those are their words to the president of the Oklahoma Broadcasters uh, Association, Vance Harrison. So that tells you all you need to know. Um, they're not coming into the community and giving back. You know, they're not, uh, they're not working with schools on events like we do with Teddy Bear Fun Drive, or as I mentioned, we get hit up all the time, and we're, we're glad we do. Mm -hmm. uh, to, from, from different school groups and booster clubs and try to support them in as many ways as, as we can, whether it's uh, financially or through providing tickets to events that we have or amusement parks or Pirates or Altoona Curve. We always try to give back. I would ask, what has NFHS done to give back uh, to our community? So, you know, uh, again, uh, I will say, it's not that NFHS is a bad service. It's not. Uh, we think we do things way better on the video streaming side. Uh, we're now doing replays and those types of things. The main issue is just let us compete and we'll take our chances. And I think we need to work hard in the Commonwealth to, uh, and hopefully um, uh, our legislators will stand up for us uh, like they have in other states to, to get some legislation moving that's being worked on to protect local companies, small businesses like ourselves. Well, there are many, many different sides to this story. We'll explore them further. Uh, we're out of time right now, mm -hmm. but uh, we thank you for stopping by, telling us all about this, and explaining to folks why they won't see the normal video stream for the Homer Center game tonight. Thanks, Todd. And uh, we'll be back at Homer Center next Friday night against Marion Center because of the agreement we do have in place with Homer Center for, uh, for their home games. We were able to work this out for a road game at Northern Cambria, but uh, tonight, for different reasons, and I respect uh, uh, the principal, Steve Shutter's decision out at West Shemokin. Um, unfortunate circumstances, and we learned about 8 o'clock this morning that will not be uh, uh, possible tonight. All right, he's Mark Burdig. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. 18 minutes.